morning guys and welcome back to vlogmas i think this is vlogmas day 20 which i'm actually so sad about this is solidified i will definitely be doing vlogmas every year like i feel like i handled that pretty well i would love to do like mini vlogmas it is sunday it's around 11 51 a.m so usually what i do when i am not doing hair is i'll wake up i'll edit the vlog from yesterday post it on private or public whatever and then start filming the vlog but i feel like it wastes my whole entire morning and then like i said to you guys like all of a sudden i'm done and it's like two or three and then i'm like feeling like i'm rushed to film the rest of the day and i think what i'd rather do is wait to edit until tonight but then then post it like immediately because it needs to go up today i feel like i'm wasting the whole entire day and i have stuff to do so i think that might be better i think i'm going to head to the salon because this is the busiest week of the year for me even with covid which obviously i'm grateful for but it also gets very very chaotic so i want to go to salon centric do a massive restock and also i want to go to soul and deep clean it because it kind of needs it i can't wait till i get a higher cleaner for that but that is definitely the plan and then i know i've also been getting asked for a studio tour so i figured after i deep clean it i might as well do a studio tour and it's a small studio very small studio so i should be done with that hopefully around like two come back here do the dishes clean the kitchen i want to make cookies for the garbage men and the mailman i want to do laundry and i want to like hang up my outfits for the week because I have to wake up around 7 every day this week So I would rather have like my outfits already set up I do not dress cute to work I would literally be picking up the sweatpants I want to wear But that will make my life easier Then I have to wrap all my presents I haven't wrapped any of my presents yet Tomorrow I work my last one I actually had to cancel because she tested positive. So once again, I'm not complaining about that. Thank you for telling me. It'd be so easy to just like be like, oh no, I'm fine. And then just come in. So as of right now, I'm working eight to six. I did text someone that was on the waiting list to see if they want to get in. But as of right now, eight to six tomorrow, nine to eight Tuesday, eight to eight Wednesday. So yeah, let's go get our day started. Just got out of salon centric and whew, it's expensive order which i knew because i need hey wait a second when i just went to salon centric last week didn't i say that i wanted that sauce for christmas it was around 400 dollars. but now i'll definitely not have to go back until january i say that and i'm like yeah, okay he just got to work and i just took out the garbage and threw in a load of laundry that's what i'm gonna start with and we have a lot to do so let's make like a little game plan it's 109 i'd like to be out of here by 2 30. also monica sent me the pictures and they came out like amazing so i'm gonna show you guys what i got i'm gonna move every single chair and like big object out of the room then i'm gonna pull out everything from all the shelves and drawers and whatnot clean all the shelves and drawers restock declutter and then clean all like the big objects before putting it back i got lightener gloves they've been out of small gloves for so long so i got medium which sucks as they never fit but whatever two things of foils these are my favorite they're the pop-up product club i also like from our i got a bottle of my gel processing solution these are the huge masks i got from amika i've heard such good things about it it's the soul food amika and these are all of my toners like look at this there's a lot in there that's why it was four hundred dollars i think what might be easier is wait until I'm like restocking and then I can show you guys every single toner that I have one of the perks of having your own suite and I think I talk about it all the time but I do feel like a lot of people will ask me like oh can you do a video of the pros and cons which I could do but I feel like I do talk about it a lot but I could always do like a dedicated video I like that I can choose whatever color line I want so I usually use Redken shades I will use well a color touch which I really like as well but Redken shades is my favorite I kind of have like my go-to. So I always use Redken Flash Lifts for my lightener. I usually use Redken Shades for toners and root smudges. Gold Well is what I use for like my reds and violets and whatnot. Not usually on me, but for some reason on my clients. And I'll use Pravana for like a direct dye, like red or blue or something like that. Well, you had me from the start. By the way you stared, the way you wrote upon me, yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy. Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah But something went wrong, the signals got crossed And now we're on completely different pace. It's been like almost an hour and I faced on my friend thinking that that was gonna make me like all clean when I talked to her and I just stared at her like I can't do that, I don't know how people do So I'm still just like kind of clearing things out of the room so I need to just get to work like I always do this it's up, we should take it slow Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, baby, don't you Baby, don't you switch up the vibe Baby, don't you, 
tried this one. Baby, this is Hayden. Don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Will you take me on a trip? Always up and down and back and forth in merry go round. I just wanna get it right. But when you go left, I'm stuck here feeling left behind. Cause something went wrong. The signals got crossed. because I keep talking to my friends here, but it's already 3.06, so I'm hoping I'll be done by like 3.40. Everyone keeps thinking I'm moving because all my stuff's like right outside my room, so everyone thinks I'm like moving out of Sola. It's looking good in here. Now it's the point where I just have to start putting everything back, but I just keep getting distracted. I'm not good at cleaning and talking. Like I think I am and I'm not, so I'm gonna keep going. I have my mask hat on because if I run to the back, I throw it on. Everything that is currently in here and all like cabinets and shelves is scrubbed down. I have like color down here. I need to get another like plexiglass thing to put down there so it doesn't get stained. Same thing with behind the sink, but everything is good. So now I'm gonna restock the color bar. You love me, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the vibe. I got this. Keurig, when I moved into my Sola, I was in a different room. Oh, super zoomed in. So in 2018, I was in a really big room, so I had like a legit coffee bar and stuff. And I had a Keurig, and I haven't used it since, so it's filthy. So I'm just gonna clean it. I'm probably gonna keep it here for now, and then when I, and if I eventually move back into my house where I have the space, I will definitely use it, but it feels like such a waste. But I will use it in the future, it's just so gross. We are almost done. I'm not filming everything just because I'm scared my battery's gonna die. But I had some stuff from when I had my little coffee bar that I can totally bring home. So for example, this adorable little cream cup that I'm gonna rinse out real quick because it's super dusty. And also these super cute coasters. So we're gonna bring that home. And unfortunately, I think I'm gonna throw out this mug. It's so cute. It says, but first coffee, but it's shattered. You can't tell, but it's really bad and it's pointy. Basically, she's not my client anymore, so I can say this, but I have this girl and she had to take like birth control or ibuprofen or something, which is fine. This is a couple years ago. And she was like, oh, do you have water? Which I was like, totally. And usually I have water bottles, but I didn't. So I was just like, oh, okay, like here's this mug. I'll put, like I put like filtered water in it. I was like, just be careful. Like, you know, this before COVID, we didn't have masks. And she's like, okay, takes it. I'm not even kidding. Puts it like right there. And like, you know, I'm spinning her to do color and it's, it's like hanging off even more. I can't even describe it. I was just like, oh, like, please be careful. Like it's gonna fall. And she was just like, oh no, no, it's okay. I'm being careful. And like, I was like, it's gonna fall. And she was like, no. And it fucking fell and it broke. And I was kind of pissed just because it could be one thing if she was like, like she was done drinking water. Like I think there was like a sip left in it. And I was like, here, let me just put it over here for you in the meantime. And she just wouldn't do it. And then it fell and broke. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I was like, my mug. Holy crap, it is 4.15 and I just finished. Always happens. But I'm gonna try and film the studio tour. I don't know if my battery's gonna die, but it's not a very big studio, but I know some of you wanted storage ideas. So I'll just show you what I have. It's really nothing crazy. So no one's in my hallway, so I'm gonna step out for one second. So there is my little logo. Vinny actually came up with that bar by Abby Rose. And one of my clients actually had the idea of like a martini glass. And then I got this drawn up and I'm obsessed with it. So once you go in, I think it's maybe like a hundred square feet. So I have this iVac vacuum that I highly recommend. I'll show you how loud it is. So it's pretty loud, but only lasts like 10 seconds. And it's very helpful when I'm doing big haircuts. I just suck it right up. There's my little, just little table that my clients can put their stuff on. So that's for their bag and everything. This is just a little tiny shelf. If I am picking up products for a client, I'll leave it right here right now. I have some hand sanitizer people use. One of my business licenses. This will not stay straight, but this is my little letterboard sign. It just says Colored Bar by Abby Rose. Estimated 2015 because that is when I became an LLC and started my own business and started my first in-home salon. On, but that is just my cosmetology license, my appearance enhancement storefront license. This is, oh my God, my battery is dying. <sighs> Oh, God damn it. We're gonna have to do the tour tomorrow. I'm so sorry my battery's dying. Tour in tomorrow's video. 
I'm sorry. I got home a little bit ago, but I just wanted to change the battery so I could show you guys. Carla was in the crate, so she's obsessed with me, but I am so obsessed with the pictures. Like, the pictures she took in March or whenever we did the first round was, they were amazing, but this is just, like, unlike anything. When I sent them to my best friend of the backyard, she was like, where are you guys? And I was like, that's her backyard. Like, it looks like we're in, like, Vermont. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see them all, but, like, Harlow. And we didn't get a lot of good pictures of Beasley inside because she does not like sitting still inside, but outside... She was just fast with it and they just came out so phenomenal, but our fire looks amazing. My babies, so sweet. Oh my God, I love them. Can I make them bigger? Love that one. Like, oh, that might be the new YouTube pick. Damn, we look good. Oh, I'm so obsessed. So it's 5.16 now, and now I think I'm gonna take the time to import yesterday's footage and edit that vlog and get it up, and then we'll come back to this vlog. I'm very happy we did it like that, especially because I ran so late anyway. I can't even imagine if I tried to edit the vlog first. So I'm probably gonna check back in with you guys in a few hours, maybe around eight, and then we'll continue on with the rest of our day. Very, very long update later. The current situation, that Beasley girl. Got Harlow and sleep even. So it is 11.51 p.m. right now. I don't know how that happens. But basically, I don't even remember what time I ended up getting home, but I went straight to editing and uploading the video. And then I just had a to-do list that I wanted to do for a little bit. So I, was, I feel like it was so long ago, I don't remember what it was. I did all of the laundry. I hung up a couple outfits that I could just wear to work this week that's easy. So I'm not like searching for that like go-to pair of pants. Tie-dyed all the orders. They're not gonna be shipped out till Thursday. So I definitely am not packaging them right now, but I just wanted to get them like tie-dyed. The video obviously from yesterday is completely edited and published finally. It was stuck on processing for like an hour, which is so annoying and I hate when that happens. And I really loved yesterday's vlog. It's probably my favorite vlog of vlogmas so far. I was gonna wrap the presents then the only thing I wasn't gonna have time to do was make the cookies for the garbage bin which I will do. I was gonna wrap presents now and then I just looked at Vinny and I was like I'm so tired. There's always something on your to-do list that gets like pushed to the next day but it's normal. Oh let's change the Christmas countdown. I never do advent calendars on time. Oh but this is just a sleepy crowd that we got going on. We all need sleeps. I took off their Christmas outfits and I feel like they're actually really upset about it. So after I wash them, I'm gonna see if they want me to put it back on them. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning. I'm about to start the next Vlogmas, but I did want to just pop on here and finish the studio tour. It's 7.15, 7.20 a.m. right now and I have like 30, 40 minutes till my client comes. But I just want to finish the tour. Over here, I think this is my chair. It's hard to tell what came with Sola and what I brought because I had an in-home studio before this. So a lot of the girls here, they came from a salon to here. So like they don't really like when I'm like, oh, I have some stuff that's mine. They're like, what do you mean? But I'm pretty sure that this is mine. And I think we got, oh my God, it's been so long. I would definitely like to upgrade this if I eventually make it in my house. I want to say there's a place called Mr. B's near like Queens. I'm like 99% sure and that's where me and my dad got the chair and the salon sink and all that type of stuff. This mirror is also mine. I think that's from Ikea. It's like the hover, the hub it, like whatever. Like it's popular. It's like the biggest mirror that you can get for like relatively cheap. Anything that looks like this type of cabinetry, so this and obviously that whole back thing, is supplied from Sola. So I'm obsessed with this thing. So it has a big outlet back there where everything plugs into, but then everything just has a little outlet on the side. So right in the top drawer, I just keep my paddle brush, round brush, I have scissors, some combs around the barber side. My favorite blowout spray is the Kenra Platinum blowout spray. It's my absolute favorite. At home, I use the Kenra Luxe leave-in, but this is my fave. Along with my favorite hairspray, which is Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray Medium Finish. It's not crunchy. I'm obsessed with it. And real quick, I'm always getting asked about my favorite products and tools. I wouldn't make a separate video about it but I'll just include some of my favorite stuff here so that's my favorite leave-in and my favorite hairspray so my absolute all favorite shampoo and conditioner is the Kenra platinum Lux, the gold bottle the shampoo and conditioner is my absolute fave but if your hair gets greasy very fast I think it might be a little bit too heavy for it and I would recommend the Wella color brilliance you really can't go wrong with both those are my favorite you can get them at Ulta and if they're not like extremely extremely expensive a dry shampoo oh do I have it here here's a good one it's the Redken Deep Clean Dry Shampoo, but I also love the IGK Charcoal. It's amazing. Uh, and the Amika Perk Up. <laughs> I have a lot of favorites. And I don't use a heat protectant. I'll use my blowout spray, even if I'm not blowing out my hair 
because it's a heat protectant in it and also the tangles and there's a lot of other good properties so like i could even if i'm gonna like wait till the second day to straighten it i'll put it in and the heat protectant will last so just a heads up my absolute favorite blow dryer it's the babyless volaire pro whatever it is my ride or die and it's not that expensive it's around 100 dollars. i had it for like years and years and never needed a new one and then i bought a new moroccan oil one for like 300 dollars. and even my friend at salon centric was like that's such a waste of money it's not not worth it and I got it and it crapped out like six months later so I went back to this and I've had to replace it once it finally died on me like around a year ago and it's still going strong so I love that and then my favorite curling iron also the babyless pro this is where I keep some foils most of them are not here but this is where I keep them because then I just plop them right there so I could apply and then down here is where I keep all of my capes I have like five so that way I can switch them out every client and then I also have some aprons in the back but I haven't really been wearing aprons as much I'll usually just wear my clear one new COVID regulations require that you have have one basket for dirty and one basket for clean this thing I think is from Keller and it's just a huge color bar Vinny put this in and he I just remember how much he hated putting this thing in and this is just where I store all of my color so you could see I have a little Goldswell a little Pravana a little color touch but it's mainly like this is really all my toners and my permanents but like I don't do a lot of root touch-ups you would think I'm a colorist like I have so much color but I actually don't it's the lightener that's like the huge deal and then the toner and color just kind of like seals it for me like I don't have a lot of like one single processes like if I do 30 clients in a week maybe five are like single processes of some sort so here's some permanent colors and literally the rest are toner so i have one b so for example i have a client she likes seeing like a silvery gray coming in tomorrow and so i'll do like six t with like a dash of one b and then i have four n four n b just like a bunch of my favorite toners okay making your way over here here is my sink this came with sola but i do think i have mine actually still hanging out in another location from when i was there i told my landlord he could like hang on to it until i eventually left you bring your own tv but they pay to install it they pay like the wi-fi and everything's included so i have a roku so i don't need cable it's just the same like hulu subscription that i have at home so i could just throw on whatever i want i used to watch Grey's anatomy i was watching one tree hill maybe since it's christmas week i'll throw on christmas movies oh my god that's what we're doing we're having a christmas movie week that sounds fun so that's why i love being like a studio owner like we could just be like it's freaking Let's watch Cheetah Girls all day. One of the guys here put up this plexiglass, so I stopped staining the wall, but I just ended up staining underneath it because I'm a disaster. Under here, nothing fancy, just the paint, but actually most of the Sola standard room, so this is a standard room that is the full size, and honestly, it's fine for me and one person, but most of them don't come with a sink like this. But, quick backstory, in 2018, I actually had a double massive room, but it was so expensive, like I'm not kidding. The rent is my mortgage now, so, Obviously, when I decided to leave it, I just was asked my landlord, I was like, look, is there any way I can get that second sink because it's been a lifesaver? And he did it. Like, they're so good to me here. Some shampoo and conditioner. Right now, I'm using Biolage. Some gloves. Then I just have, usually keep cleaning supplies there, but I switched that up a little bit. And then I just have towels. Here's where I usually just put, like, my stuff, like my phone, my water, whatnot. And here's where I keep, nothing really organizational about this, but this is where I keep, like, all of my bowls. And I have my favorites. Like, these two are my bowls for lightener. That's my bowl for Roots Mod. This is my toner. Oh, and this is actually really cool. This is a cash drawer. So, basically, right here is a little key. So, let's say, I don't know. Like, I don't really need to use this a lot because I'm always in the room. But let's say I want to run and grab coffee. I could just, like, lock the door and take the little key with me. So, I know that no one could, like, come in. All right. Down here is more of my supplies. So, I have three tubs of my favorite, which is Redken Flash Lift. So, here's where I keep those extra foils, some boxes of gloves, Redken Shades Clear, Regular, and Gel Developer toner developer for color touch 10 20 30 so this is like the amount that i like it to be stocked i think i'm missing something like that's usually good because then by the time i get to the last bottle of something like this is a good amount because i usually go at least twice a week all right so this was a mess and i cleared it out a lot yesterday so that looks so much better so i hang my bag here but also this is my little cape i'll probably wear it today it's so cute i think it's from los angeles hair i want to say i'll try and remember to link it down below but it's so cute let's actually throw that on and it's nice during covid times because you could just like wipe it off with some bleach and you can also see your outfit under it 
which is great for me so everyone can see my sweatpants. And I love the gold accents. Up there is just some miscellaneous stuff that I just probably need to get rid of. There are some samples I get from Salon Centric that stack up. Here, this is my favorite color remover and I'm literally saving my last of it if I ever want to change my hair, but it's my absolute favorite color remover and they discontinued it and I don't know why. Some blue shampoo. Some dry shampoo for me, some Tylenol, which like the worst of if you have headache or cramps and you're here, so I'm so happy I have that. Some Barbicide and some just like cleaning supplies back there. Brazilian blowout stuff, some old Schwarzkopf developer I don't really use. Some deodorant, some spray deodorant. Especially I used to work out before work. Now I don't, but I used to, so I needed that. I haven't used this yet, but this is supposed to be a good uh, color remover. Just some random stuff, to be honest. I have some like Goldwell Colorons toner developer back there. Like, when have I used that? Here's just some snacks. Crappy Dollar Tree tampon. Like, it's really nothing crazy. Um, Band-aids for when you get a nice scissor cut. Those are the best. Some extension remover that I really don't need ever, but I am saving in case I want to take mine out myself if we're on lockdown. Here, I hated this. I bought it once because I couldn't get Brazilian bought for some reason and I freaking despised it. I want to throw it out, but it's a waste. Maybe I'll give it to someone. A scale that I really don't use. Someone gave it to me when they were leaving. And this is a bag of reusable bags and some processing caps. A lot of bags and now I'll use these so I stop wasting bags because I didn't realize how many I had until I was clearing it out. This is another just like miscellaneous mess. So it's a lot of masks. A lot of times clients will come in with like really cute cotton masks or like God forbid the one that goes across the back of your head. Like why are you doing that to me? And I'll just give them a disposable, some makeup remover wipes. Same thing when I used to like work out before work. Then back here I just have some plexiglass I'll eventually want to put up an old paper towel holder and then just like that Keurig and my humidifier. I need to change the filter to so it's just kind of like tucked in the corner. And my garbage can and it used to be automatic a million years ago and it's not and it's like literally chipping and mess but it works it's a garbage can and that is basically it <laughs> you know what super fast maybe i'll just show you guys a little bit of sola no one's here it's so early and it's a monday so a lot of people aren't here so i'll just show you Sola a little bit it might get a little busy later just because it's the monday before christmas but like yeah no one's here i'm gonna leave my mask down everyone just has their own little room with their own little like name and number and like everyone like decorates it however they want actually let me see if i could sneak you guys into where i used to be okay, so we all have the same code to get into the main door but like the doors are locked and you need your own special key so like i couldn't go into anyone else's room i'm being so creepy right now i don't even know who's back here but if you could see Oh my god, she did it so nice. But you could see she has like multiple people in there and it goes all the way that way too. Like it's really big. And it was great having all that space, but honestly it was just unnecessary. And it was like literally so expensive. So this is the bathrooms, actually very nice. And this is my favorite thing ever, filtered water. So I live off that. And this is our little quote unquote break room. It's really just the laundry room. So it has a microwave and a fridge. I don't, I don't even use this. This is the laundry. So everyone has their own little like number and it's really easy. And my landlord's amazing and doesn't make us pay for it. My old Sola, he had to make us pay for it because people kept like bringing in their personal stuff. So like, I don't even blame him. But like, if I wanted to start a load right now, I would just take my number, stick it on there, start it. So that way, for example, let's say there was no, no dryers available. I could take her stuff out and like put it in that little bin and put her number on it. Cause otherwise it would get so confusing. Like whose towels are whose. I've been with Sola four years and there's only been one instance where my towels like went missing, but it is what it is. All the girls here are so sweet too. And like, that's the thing that I would honestly really miss if I was to eventually leave is like, I feel like I made like friends here and people are like, oh, do you guys eat lunch together? And like one, not now because of COVID, there's not even chairs in the break room. But even before that, all of our schedules are so different, but it's still just so nice. Like the amount of times I've ran out of foils or gloves or anything and I'll literally be like, does anyone have this? Or like, they'll be like, oh my God, do you have Pravana blue? And I'm like, here you go. It's very like give or take and it's awesome. So I really love it. Cause I feel like that's the salon perk. Like when you work at a salon, you get to bounce ideas off of each other. And I'm actually gonna include that in one of the videos this week is tips to make you do hair faster because I don't mean to be so fast, but I'm definitely speedy. So one of my friends here was asking me questions about how to save time and I gave her a bunch of tips and she genuinely was like so happy and was like texting me about it. So it's like kind of nice because you bounce ideas off each other. You could ask someone for help, but it's also like they could literally be watching like, like Disney movies in their room and I would have no idea. Like someone could be like blasting like Evanescence. Like everyone just doing their own thing. A lot of people actually don't have a TV. Like they just have music. But that basically does it. I only have 
13 minutes till my client gets here. She's bringing me Starbucks, I can't wait. But I wanna import this footage so that way I can start a new vlog for Vlogmas. And I brought my tripod so we can get some better angles. So I'm super excited so I'm not like so limited. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, I am going to be filming the next three days of Vlogmas will be salon vlogs. Oh, by the way, we are so close to 5K. My goal has been by Christmas Eve. I'm at 4,888, so I need 112. And it's Monday right now and I need until Thursday. So hopefully we can do it, but thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, bye. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blingin', carols singin', favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blingin', carols singin', favorite season. They said same name, but you got a bit.